It's week 11 in the NFL. There's my name. That's the name of the show. I'm joined, as always, by my co-workers, Alex and Will. They're paid to be here, not by choice. You've been shampooing? Your hair looks good. Yeah, I, fa- I just found out about that stuff. No, nice. Well, let's kick things off with the Broncos at the Bears. New era in Denver. Peyton Manning out with a torn fascia? Torn plantar fascia. Peyton Manning, that could be a career ender. It is the time of Brock Osweiler. Or is it Brock Osweiler? Ah, Brock Osweiler. Swiler. Brock Osweiler, here to pitch your ball. From the Emerald Isle, Brock Osweiler. Rock Bosweiler. Block Snozgeiler. Doc Posmiler. Glock Sosweiler. I just do this all day. This is eight minutes of Spock Cosweiler. You know he has a sex tape? Brock and two smoking Cheryl's. How about the Bears looking like an actually competitive football team? on the strength of a re-energized defense. Probably credit that to Vic Fangio and John oh, Fox. how I miss you, Vic. Yeah, well, <laughs> we're not talking about your disaster of a team. Matt Forte, out, no big deal. Jeremy Langford got this. He's better. Had I ever heard of Jeremy Langford before week nine? Nope. So the Broncos started the season 7-0. and uh, Peyton Manning, by the way, leaves the NFL 19 interceptions? 17. 17 interceptions. Usually the league leader is usually around 17, like through the full season. The bar is so low with what Peyton Manning's done this season that he only has to be like kind of bad to be better than Peyton Manning. All he has to do is not throw three picks. The line on this, even though the Broncos are 7-2, and two, the Bears are 4-5, and five, this is a pick em. I think that's uh, because Vegas has been paying attention to the news. I don't know, man. Gosh, that's so hard. Who Johnny like? Fox gets his revenge. I'm with you on that. I think Jay Cutler's playing so well. Brock Osweiler, first start on the road. I don't know, man. Bears. Bears, really? Chargers. All right, there we go. The Cowboys at the Dolphins. Antonio Romo is back in the lineup for the Cowboys. Good news, Cowboys are undefeated when Romo starts a game this season. Bad news, he's only started two games and they've lost all their other games. Uh, sorry, buddy. At least you have Greg Hardy. Oh, f- we got him? Yeah. Why didn't I read about that? The Dolphins have given up safeties in three consecutive games? What? That takes effort. First team in 35 years to do that. I was going to make a joke about uh, safeties and Greg Hardy because he owns guns, but... Uh, oh, he has those things removed when he gets a gun. He's like, oh, safety is off. By the way, in our, in our Alex focuses on players and coaches going up, up against old teams, Dan Campbell played as a tight end for Dallas for three years, 12 years ago. He's got revenge on the mind. I think I would like to see Indomitian Sue versus Greg Hardy just in kind of like a blood sport match. They just go toe to toe for until until somebody dies. Greg Hardy wouldn't last seven seconds in a fight with Indomitian Sue. Well, yeah, that's why I'm proposing yeah. it. The line on this game is there isn't one. This is a pick 'em. Cowboys two and seven. Romo back in the lineup. So I'm going boys. Me too. Excellent game late on Sunday afternoon. The Packers at the Vikings. Packers lost three in a row, lost control of the NFC North. The Vikings have a very capable defense. Adrian Peterson leading the NFL in rushing over 900 yards. And Teddy Bridgewater hasn't been great, but he's been good enough. I'm not gonna say like, watch out for the Vikings, but like they're a a solid team. Good job, Vikings. Way to go, Minnesota. I don't know why I got aggressive about that. (laughs) Like, they're a good team, I like watching them. The Packers, on the other hand, kind of in free fall over the last uh, three weeks, with the low point easily being losing at home to the Lions in a game that the Lions like worked really hard to lose. I think the Jim Caldwell winning a game that his team actively tried to lose for at least like the solid final quarter of the game was is maybe the crowning achievement of Jim Caldwell's career. It was that and then also when he won out the choice for where to eat dinner versus his wife. He was pushing for uh, some some buttered noodles at uh, at, an, at an Olive Garden. What's behind the Packers' decline? Well, they haven't had a sack since October 18th. The running game has fallen through the floor. Eddie Lacy, he got a bad case of the hungries. I ended up with some ankle injuries because <laughs> of it. I have a hard time grasping the notion of Aaron Rodgers losing four consecutive games in a season. When was the last time that happened, Alex? Uh, his first year starting <clears> 08, he lost five in a row. The one time where Alex was like super useful with like a handy fact on the spot <laughs> and you just ruined it for him. Tag team. Good job. It's a pick em. I'm going to take the Packers. I don't have any good reason for it because when I try to think things through, I'm just wrong anyway. So f*** it, you know? Packers by two touchdowns. What? what? Yeah, Packers comfortably in this one. Sunday night football is actually the best game of the week. Is that an accident or was that flexed in? That was flexed. Ah, okay, flexed. So that's that explains why we have the 8-1 and one Bengals at the 7-2 and two Cardinals. Uh, 
Because, yeah, you can't foresee this being a premier game before week one. That's, that's just not going to happen. Bengals' first loss of the season on Monday Night Football. Andy Dalton wilting, wilting from that primetime spotlight. Well, if losing wasn't enough, f***ing J.J. Watt's harsh words after. He's going to be a broken shell of a human. Oh, man. J.J. Watt called the Red Rifle the Red Rider BB gun. Andy Dalton actually got his feelings hurt like the total ginger baby he is. <laughs> no offense to gingers, but you, you, at this point in your life, you have to have heard worse shit than that. I mean, we've been calling him a dog penis on the show for like the last, at least year. I've made bumper stickers for that, and it's literally a dog's penis with his face on it. <laughs> and I sent them to his mom. <laughs> Carson Palmer facing his old team. It's, it's hard to even remember that Carson Palmer like did the bulk of his career and was like a Pro Bowl quarterback for the Bengals because it was so long ago. That's what an era with the Raiders will do to you in between. Yeah, the Raiders <laughs> broke him. Looked terrific against the Seahawks. The only reason the Seahawks were as close as they were is because Mike Ayupati went down with an injury and the Seahawks were able to get pressure up the middle. I feel obligated to point out it's you, Potty. You. But I, I was I was gonna let it slide, but I feel like sorry. Uh, you potty like it's 1969. No, nope. I'm, I'm sorry. Also, it's 1999. I'm sorry, is the I just can't get anything right. <laughs> Tonight we're gonna party like it's 1969. I That's know. when Woodstock happened, right? Line on this game is Arizona by three. I just think that Carson Palmer has a better experience, playing a little bit better this season. Yeah, I'll take the Cardinals. I think they're the better team. Cardinals. And Monday Night Football actually is not a complete car wreck. Five and four Bills travel to New England to face the unbeaten Patriots. Yeah, the Pats have just clinched their 15th straight winning season. More bullshit about how they're always awesome. They always win their home games against the Bills. I feel like Belichick is due for like a serious health condition. His health condition is gonna be like, we found this weird mutation in him. His heart is stronger than anything we've ever seen. He's got Secretariat's heart. The Patriots, despite being 9-0, have uh, some serious injury woes. Deion Lewis out for the season. Uh, Julian Edelman uh, broke his foot last week. Got any pictures? That's Rex Ryan. Ah, I get it. Yeah. He likes to f feet, that's what I'm saying. Hey, before you put that screw in there, can I just use, that foot's a little more moldable, <laughs> if I could. If you have a foot fetish, are you into like anybody's feet? Like if it's a really nicely manicured foot? Yeah. I mean like, or is it, does it have to be a lit? Any foot, just any foot foot, Matt. You think it's easy sitting here looking at those? Are you sure you don't want to work barefoot? Stop. But the Bills. The Bills are no shrinking violets. They're uh, occasionally good. How do the Bills beat the Patriots? How do they, what's the formula for beating the Patriots right now? First things first, they have to find a way to slow down Chandler Jones, because that guy, he might win Defensive Player of the Year. He's incredible. Okay. Doubt it. Um, they're just going to have to run the ball really well and keep Brady off the field. Same old, same old. But Play super good. Done. Yeah. Three phases. Score, score more points. Win the game. Ball game. Really glad I asked you for your input. Monday Night Football exhausts me every time. I don't listen to Monday Night Football. I mute the game and then I listen to something like like classical music just to, so I like I need the exact opposite of John Gruden. His enthusiasm is definitely there. He knows the game very well. I just I, I don't want to hear a single word from him. I'm tired of announcers. You usually see him at Baskin Robbins when he gets to the toppings. He loses his Mind. This guy right here, I call the ice creaminator. <laughs> the line on this game, thanks to our friends at Odd Shark, is Pats by seven and a half. I'll be cheering for the Bills here. I want them to win. My brain says that the Bills should cover, so I'm gonna go reverse. Pats take that one by 10 points, sure. Backdoor cover, Bills will do it. Backdoor cover! Yep. Woo. Okay, those are our picks for the best games of NFL's week 11. Thanks for watching the Upside Show. Uh, thanks for following me on Twitter, and thanks for subscribing to SB Nation on YouTube and commenting below the videos. Always love to hear what you guys think, except uh, for the people who say mean things. I don't appreciate that at all. Anyway, catch you next week. Thanks for watching.